In this example of Working Model 2D, we'll show how to drive an actuator using table data taken from a spreadsheet. We have a simple block attached to the background using a keyed slot, and we have an actuator where one end is attached to the block and the other to the background. We're going to drive the actuator using a displacement versus time profile. We've created a meter that will monitor the displacement of the actuator. The data looks like this. We have time on the left hand side and we have displacement on the right hand side. To bring in the data we can simply select the actuator, choose define, new control, and choose length. By default this will bring up a length slider for the input control of the actuator. We'll go ahead and we'll double click the slider to open its properties and we'll change the type from slider to data table. Then we'll select read table and we'll browse and select our data. We've defined a pause control that will stop the simulation after time reaches approximately five seconds. If you look at the actuator, you can see where the input was automatically assigned as the value. This input is related directly to this length control here. Any modifications to this length control will also affect directly the input to the actuator. This concludes this example of driving an actuator using table data.